Oh dear. <laughs> Nervous twitch. <laughs> Good evening, everybody, and a very happy Friday to you all. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. So um, you might kind of notice just from the decor that we're not in Portugal, we're not in our usual place. Um, and we're not in Ireland. And we're not in Ireland, no. Uh, but we're, we were yesterday. Yeah. So um, it's been a, a bit of a, a hectic week this week, hence I'm not at the farm. Um, Mark's not at the farm and uh, yeah, we've had to... Oh. Back to work in the UK with the lovely rain in Manchester. Yeah, so uh, we've had quite a few things that we've had to pack in in the last week or so. So we've had to do a flying visit over to Ireland um, and that will become clearer in a little while from uh, the footage that we took while we are in Ireland. And um, we're just trying to get a few days working, um, yeah, before yeah. I go back to Portugal on Sunday. So honestly, no rest for the wicked. Always, always doing something. So, yeah. Um, Will I remain on in the UK? Yeah, Mark's going to stay here now. Uh, he's going to keep away. working. Half term for me. Keep um, the wheels turning. After doing a bit of school work. So, yeah, um, I'm going to go over, get a bit more work done on the cottages. Um, probably tell I'm feeling a lot better. I'm not 100% still <clears> yet. Um, but, yeah, maybe a bit of a rest at some point um, and a bit of sunshine. That might improve uh, yeah, my coughs and my colds and everything else that I've, I've had going on. But yeah, I'm feeling a lot better, a lot more energy. So I'm ready to get back stuck in at the cottages. Um, for the next challenge. For the next challenge, yeah. Installation of new windows and doors. Well, I'm not physically doing that, but I hope, hoping, fingers crossed, that they get done next week. Um, well, you'll, yeah. be the, you'll be there in spirit, you'll be there supervising. I'll, I'll be there, yeah, 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 four man. For one, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna hopefully crack on and um, get some more rooms kind of um, livable, better. So yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. A little bit different this week, but we'll be back at the end of the video just to kind of you know tell you what's gonna be happening next. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and notification so you don't miss any videos. Going to be doing quite a few, um, whatever you call them, shorts over the next couple of weeks while I'm in Portugal. So yeah, be uh, be looking out for them. So hit the notification button and then you uh, you don't miss anything. See you at the end. Thank you, everybody. everybody from oh sorry Bella oh, sorry just whacked her on the nose um yeah we're in a very different location today as you can probably guess we're um at the cottage in Ireland and we're making a start on our next little project which is going to entail um our second road trip down to Portugal isn't that right Hi everybody. Hello. Hello. All the way from Kilishandra. County Cavern, Kilishandra. Drumgoon. That's his cottage. Lovely day here today. Yep, there we go. We're at Betty's cottage and um You think it's first day of spring? Yeah, it's beautiful. So there you go. There's yeah. our uh, project in the background. It's our thirty year old camper van here in Ireland and um nineteen ninety one actually. More than thirty year old then. Yeah, 30, oh. 33, 33, 33 years old. 33 years old. Yeah, so that's our job for the next couple of days, stripping her out and getting her ready for a road trip to Portugal with furniture for cottage number six, as in address number six, not our sixth cottage. So we better get at it while the sun shines. Come on. This is Betty's cottage. Yeah. You see all the bulbs are out here already, the dafts. Yeah. Crocuses and the snowdrops. Mm-hmm. Lovely the crocuses and the snowdrops. They're beautiful. Alright, so here she is. 
So we're just doing a, a quick fix, really, removing all the uh, just give fixed, you a, fixed furniture, the yeah. wardrobe, sink. Just give you a quick look inside. I don't think we've ever shown you inside this Goodbye. camper van. So it's got all its factory fitted bits and pieces in, drawers, there's a cooker and a sink under there. A cooker and sink up here. Uh, double bed, pop-up roof this one's got so you can get two, yeah, height. two bunks up there. Um, fridge, wardrobe and some storage cupboards. So yeah, so all this is getting stripped out today so we can fill it with the furniture that we've currently got in storage in the UK to bring over to furnish the first cottage that we're doing up so it's going to become a transit van a transit van yeah <laughs> not a camper van not a transit camper van and this is lovely bella one of the neighbor's dogs say hello to youtube bella Right, okay, okay, let's get cracking. Our little days away and breaks away and never breaks away. Always, always up to something, aren't we, Chugs? Busy bees, yeah? Busy bees, we never have a rest. DIY. Okay, let the project begin. There we go, we just popped her up just to give us a bit more... Uh, headroom. A bit more headroom. Oh gosh, it's hard work this. I feel like I've been at it for hours. Um, Mark's had to go um, to um, a relative's funeral today in Ireland. So um, yeah, I'm kind of like left with this chore. So <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's not been easy. I feel like I'm not really getting anywhere. I've took, we've dismantled all the bed part together. Um, I've managed to get all the doors off the units and things. I've kind of detached the fridge, although there's some kind of scary looking gas pipe there, which I'm not looking forward to having to like cut into or anything, but um, yeah, it's pretty tough. No power tools um, here at the cottage. So everything's like <sighs> literally <laughs> by hand with screwdrivers and it's not easy. So yeah, I'm just currently trying to get this sink out and I think I'm going to keep this little, this little stainless steel sink. I think this is going to be perfect at the farm. Um, for what I want to do in the future so yeah I'm just going to keep keep plugging away I mean we've literally got two days to do this um, I suppose we can continue back at home um, in England with it but we really wanted to get it all stripped out here um, yeah ready for its, its journey to Portugal There we go. Right. I'm just telling everybody we finally got everything ripped out. So it was a bit of a chore doing the fridge and stuff, but we've we've managed. And yeah, she's ready for a a journey, a journey south. So we'll um, bring it back to the UK tomorrow, and then make our plans for um, our journey down at Easter. Gonna give her a nice jet wash in a little while. So we should get plenty in there now. She's just a, a plain old tranny van now. We've got a beautiful rainbow today in drum goo. How nice is that?
Well, we're on stage one now of our of our trip to Portugal. Just loaded on the ferry at um, Dublin, bringing the camper back to the UK. Ready to load her up there and head south. Stage one of the uh, completed. Yeah, stage one almost completed. Are you ready? Yeah, we've arrived in Wales. Let's go! And we're back in one piece. She made it from Wales to Manchester. So, uh, yeah, she will sit for a few weeks now, ready to be packed up, and it's late now, and I've got to go and do a few days' work before I go back to Portugal on Sunday. So, good night. So, we just wanted to um, wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day, and hope you all had a lovely time. And we just want to share our love with you all and say thank you for all your support and um, we love you all. Thank you we so much. You thank well you very us. much for all your loves, likes. Comments. Comments. Honestly, we love the comments. We love um, the feedback. Just, we just love more of them. Yeah. Any help or advice is always welcome. It yeah. is. It is. So and, and share the videos. Here, we're yeah. here to take on board any suggestions, help or advice. And... It's all very much appreciated. It is. So, sending out Valentine's love to you all. Um, as we said earlier, and obviously in the video, um, I'm back in Portugal on Sunday. Busy, 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 busy time. And then, um, yeah, back working for a couple of weeks. And then it's the road trip to Portugal. The second one, uh, yeah, hoping that we, uh, we have a bit more luck with this camper van, even though it's a lot older than Bertie was. But um, yeah, we're hoping we're that confident it's a it's a better runner, a better runner. Vintage not, classic. Yeah, there's not much mileage on the clock, is there? And you know what? It's just going to be a game changer for us to have our own transport over there. When we're together over there, it's not a problem. We get a hire car. When I'm on my own, I don't bother with that, and it's difficult. It's difficult for me to get around and. Even though public transport's very good, isn't it, it is, but you know you can't carry materials, sand, mm. cement. You just can't do all that um, on buses and trains. So it's going to be absolutely awesome to finally have our own wheels again back in Portugal. And um, yeah, we're not sure what we're going to do with it just yet. Whether we're going to keep it there permanently and get it matriculated with Mark now being a Portuguese resident. Uh, we don't know whether we're just going to keep it over there for a, a, a wee while and then bring it back. We don't know. We don't know. Um, who knows? We just, as you know, we just we just go with the flow, and it's. I think it's just the best way not to have, you know, fixed fixed plans just to keep things flexible. So, uh, yeah, we'll catch you again soon, and hopefully yeah. next Friday you'll finally see the completion of the bathroom. Woo hoo! Mm -hmm. On to new projects. See you next week, guys. Love to you all, guys. Bye-bye. Have a good week. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Ciao. 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 Cheers, everybody.